Restoring old steam toys, a small brass traction engine, part 5. Steam testing this engine is going to be a problem, as it was designed to use the Esbit type fuel. These solid fuel tablets are now banned in the UK. Initially I try the current alternative fuel gel, after which I convert my burner to use methylated spirits. Here's everything that I need to steam test the engine, apart from the water. I'm using a Mamod plastic funnel, and I filled this with water five times. This is number five. As you can see in this clip, the boiler is now over full, and water is pouring out of the back. I drained out some of this water because I don't want too much in the boiler for the steam test. I then fitted a safety valve that's from a Burnack Vulcan, which is a small vertical steam toy. And these Burnack Vulcans weren't made for very long, about three years in the late 1940s. I've really enjoyed renovating this particular old engine that was made by a chap that I used to know called Roy Haynes many years ago. My instincts tell me that this steam test is not going to go well, for a couple of reasons. While I'm explaining my reasons for concern, I think it's a good idea to oil everything on the engine. This traction engine is smaller than a Mamod traction engine, yet the boiler shell is approximately twice the thickness of a Mamod or a Willesco. I really don't think it's going to work with the very small burner that I made, and particularly with this new gel type fuel, which is just a little bit thicker than hand gel that you use to clean your hands. I can't really comment as to whether this gel works okay on Mamod steam engines, because the ones I have use burners that are for methylated spirits, which is a liquid, not just an alcohol gel. Here's a pack of live steam fuel that I bought via eBay, and the instructions printed on the back of the pack are telling me to fill the burner three quarters full. And I'm doing just that. As you can see, it's a clear gel, and it smells of alcohol. It made me smile when I saw the instructions Do Not Drink printed on the label. A while ago, I made a video showing how I ran a Mamod steam engine using Lagavulin high-quality single malt whiskey. The test was semi-successful, but unfortunately I did drink quite a lot of the fuel. I'm going to be sensible in this test, though. I'm not going to eat or drink this fuel at all. It doesn't look very appetising. This gel fuel lights quite easily, but there's no visible flame. This, in my opinion, is a little bit of a hazard. I know the burner is lit, though, because stupidly I held my hand over the top of it, and yes, it was quite hot. But when I put the burner in position in the firebox, the flame went out. So I repeated the process. I withdrew the burner and relit it. And it went out for a second time. I'll put the burner in the firebox and light it once it's in place. But unfortunately, with my normal gas lighter, it didn't light. I had to use a small blowtorch. Then I figured out what I needed to do. I removed the burner and relit the gel holding the blowtorch in place for a while to warm it up. Now it was bubbling and it stayed lit once I put it in the firebox. There wasn't much heat and most of the gel disappeared, so I blew out the flame and put some more gel in there. And this time straight away I heated the gel using the blowtorch, put it back in the firebox and it appeared to be lit. I don't know why this gel keeps going out, there's plenty of air around it and the front of the firebox is open as well. I had a crisis of confidence and thought that maybe my burner was no good, so I removed it and put the gel directly in the floor of the firebox and lit it. This time, the substance lit more readily, but the heat from it was negligible. The other problem being, there's no lip on the front of the firebox, so the gel ran out onto the bench. This time, I blew out the flame, and put quite a lot of this gel in the firebox, which immediately started to pour out of the front. I smoothed it out a little bit with a screwdriver, so it didn't pour out of the front too much. This idea is not good. All that happened when I lit the gel using the blowtorch was, one of the pieces of Scotch-Brite that the engine is sat on to stop it rolling about on the bench burst into flame. The gel in the firebox looked like this, and in no time at all disappeared altogether. I really am not impressed with this stuff. Because of the thickness of the metal that the boiler's made from, and the amount of water in the boiler, I've got no chance of raising steam using this pathetic fuel. 
Once again, I placed a generous amount of the gel in the firebox and lit it. And as you can see, initially it looks good. It's burning and it's moving around, pouring out of the front again, setting fire to the piece of Scotch-Brite. By this time, there was steam attempting to be raised. I think the burning Scotch-Brite had something to do with this. But it's still no good. It's not raising anywhere near the steam it needs. It's just hot water. Normally, these small steam toys quite successfully use methylated spirit in a suitable methylated spirit burner. But as I've mentioned, this is a very small traction engine and I don't think there's enough surface area even with meths. But I thought, well, I'll give it a try. What I'm doing here is cutting some layers of ceramic heat insulation to fit in the burner and this will soak up the methylated spirits. Generally speaking, I would call this stuff methylated spirits with an S on the end but on this particular bottle, it says methylated spirit. So to avoid confusion, I will also say methylated spirit and not spirits. With four layers of this modern asbestos that isn't poisonous in place, I fill the burner with the methylated spirit. It lights immediately and burns with a flame that is visible. And the flame does appear to be very hot. I will not be putting my hand over the top of this. I'm just letting it burn for a while outside the traction engine to see how long it lasts, and it seems to be not too bad. To reinforce what I've just said about what this stuff's called, it is called methylated spirit on this bottle. After a while, I blew out the flame and refilled it right to the top. Now I'm going to try it in the engine. I have one minor criticism of this model, which has a bearing on this steam test. The water level filler plug is a bit too high in the boiler. And for the size of this very small burner and small surface area of the firebox, the boiler's water capacity is far too great. In this clip I'm checking that the burner's lit, and it is, when I slightly squeeze the trigger of the gas lighter, but not enough to make it spark, the gas is ignited by the methylated spirit. This is quite a healthy flame now from the burner, far better than the gel stuff. I'd like to demonstrate how good this modern heat insulation is. I would normally use it on steam locomotive boilers. I'm heating it with this blowtorch, and although it smokes, mainly down to the impurities on the stuff, it doesn't burn. While I still had the blowtorch in my hand, I directed the flame towards the boiler, just in front of the smoke box, just to give it a bit of a helping hand. And now when I rotate the flywheel, it really is trying to go. I blew out the burner and refilled it with the last methylated spirit that I have. Now the boiler and the entire engine's quite hot. Then suddenly this happened. At last the engine is running under its own steam. After a while the engine stopped, so once again using the blowtorch to help things along, I started it again, and look at the difference.
As the water level dropped, the engine started to run successfully on the heat available from the burner. If I stop the engine and lift the safety valve, some steam comes out, so I suppose in the end the steam test was successful. I have one or two ideas for different burner designs. I'll probably feature them in future videos, but that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main steam models website and click on the section of the website that says video playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.